Hey guys, I uh, was talking with a couple of people recently and they asked for some help on grip for four boogang in, uh, in a pinwheel shape and uh, asked for a little help on how to manipulate the pinwheel. So I wanted to help you guys out, show you a quick video on how I do it. Uh, I'll try not to influence it too much with Zalbab only boogang. So I've kind of mixed up my set so they're not sticking in the center right now. Um, okay, so first things first, you wanna kind of get the basic grip down. Uh, for that, what I like to do is we're gonna cut something right here. So we're gonna take and we're gonna trap the boogang. And I'll turn so you can see a little bit better. We're gonna trap the boogang between the index finger and the middle finger. And then you can hold on to it the rest of the way. So that's the first one. And you'll notice I have a different color that'll come into play later. So now we're gonna take our second boogang and we're gonna trap it between the pinky and the ring finger. This is for me. Uh, some people find it's a little bit different. They're more comfortable certain ways. Uh, for me, it's here, at least with this particular setup. So we pinch there and now we've got the middle finger kind of floating out. The middle finger is gonna create space, so you'll trap here and wrap the pinky around like that. So these are the fingers, these are your pinkies, and the thumb will kind of pin it all together. So this is the grip that I'm using for the most part. So moving into the rest of everything, we'll hold that grip, and for the pinwheel, we'll rotate this shape. Now what's gonna be important here is this green side. If you'll notice, the green side is kind of at the bottom of the grip for me. So the green side is correspond to the bottom of the one that's pinched between the thumb and the middle finger. So with that, you're going to take your basic shape and you're going to do just like you would normally a two beat weave uh, with your bougain. And so you would go this way. And if you watch what happens, and I'll do this very slowly here for you guys, we're going to go like so. Now I'll rotate a little bit so you can see what's going on. Uh, at first, what I found is instead of trying to imagine doing this move very close, like this, oh, sorry, here we go, like that. You want to imagine at first doing it very low and swooping. This will allow your, your wrist a chance to kind of get used to this motion because it's a little awkward for. So very slowly, I'll let you see what's going on here. We dive with this one and I'll go to a little bit of an angle. So we're coming down. The green side, which is the bottom, goes behind the arms. You flatten your arm behind you and then uh, rotate your wrist to the point where that bottom is now at the top. Then you're going to float over just a little bit and I'll turn so you can see what I'm doing. You'll float over and kind of tilt that side this way and continue your rotation. The bottom will come in, you bend your elbow a little bit and unwind and you're back at the start. So I'll do it a couple times this way. I'll get a little closer. And of course as you get more, uh, more comfortable with this you'll be able to do it a little smoother and it becomes a little easier. Now the important thing is keeping that grip keeps your spacing. It's very hard for these to get too much out of space even when I pull them. So this will actually help keep your picture very, very clean and very nice. Uh, so hopefully this helped you guys out uh, a little bit. I'll try to post a few more Forbu Gang things in the, in the future here when I have some time, super busy. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope it helps out.